Hey YouTube, we're here with the Bird of Time DX18. Just got done adding spoilers, which are actually spoiler ons. See how it's tied to the router? Now it's not tied to the router. Now it's got a more severe tie to the router. That's what the spoiler runs off. That's what the totally untied coming from neutral. Partial tie. Full tie. And what you're hearing is the magnets. You can see when I do this. And I'll give you a shot from the back side, but I wanted to show you how I did the wires. We've got, so it's easy to get them out. I got the receiver actually glued down a little bit, just a little bit of hot glue. And then all these uh, short extensions are color for colors. It's like the orange, red, and brown, and then the black, red, and white, so it's easy to differentiate. Um, and then also, I've got uh, this little piece of foam to help protect so things don't pop out. Just a round piece of foam from one of those uh, noodles that'll keep it in place in case of an accident. And you can see I just used the mono coat that was there and I added an extra supplemental piece of tape. We have magnets here as well. You can see it won't always release until it gets moved up and it always pulls that thing down though. I still unfortunately have four bolts to keep everything balanced on the wing. Um, I've extended the, the aileron play. And then of course the rudder. I can run alone or I can have it tied with the ailerons, which would be spoilerons in this case. So without further ado, let's get you inside to look at it. I'm using Turnigy Metal Gear servos on both sides. We've got four magnets, one, two, three, four. And they're in similar locations, but not exactly the same. And um, I ended up doing a direct drive configuration here, which worked out a lot nicer. I, um, I just couldn't get it to work with the linkage, which is fine. I actually prefer to do it this way. And normally there would be some wind pressure too, so it's always gonna help that. I actually wanted that to be a little bit stiffer, so I added just a little drip of glue and spread it across. And um, what that does for us is that it kind of helps to kind of make this thing more solid and even, deployment-wise. But as you can see, I've just got, I mean, of course, I'm gonna have some mixing set up. Now at full deployment, I've kind of got a weird configuration thing I got to figure out. What was happening is it was still operating, it was still operating the servos, and so I did some creative mixing. But what I was going to do is I was going to measure this real quick and uh, show you how much the all-up weight is. So I pulled out my little test lipo, and I put in everything, including the steel rod, 10 rubber bands. I don't plan on using 10. And we're at 1900 grams voltage alarm and 60C 2200-3S. So we're at 1900 grams, which would be 4.2 pounds. And that's all up weight with everything. Uh, so I didn't add hardly any weight there. Really happy with the way that turned out. Can't wait to get you guys a flight video should be happening in the next day or two and uh, I really appreciate you sticking in there for the build videos and uh, I think it's gonna be awesome so don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications so you know when I post a video